Hello everyone, my name is Ark and welcome back to another SH Figuarts review. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Premium Bandai exclusive Tenshin Han and Chiao Tzu. Or Chiao, uh, Chaos. These guys, I've been looking for them for a while and I've gotten from, from a vendor, which was really nice. Very amazing dude. They're sealed. As you can see, sealed over here with the tape seal with the tape still with the shipper on and i'm finally glad that i have them in my collection especially for that dragon ball z intro display that i have working uh, i'm working on it currently so without further ado let's take these guys out and see how they look All right, so here we have Tien and Chiaotsu. And honestly, I gotta say, they look pretty freaking cool in my opinion. So, starting off with Tien, we do have sort of like, of course, the accuracy of them. There was a previous Tien and Chiaotsu that were released a long time ago at this point. Based on the Saiyan saga where Chiaotsu sacrifices himself and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. So... This guy is definitely an improvement to that figure. Now, something I did notice is there's actual some sh there's actually shading throughout the figure. So, on the legs, there's some uh, dark shading on the bottom, also in the crotch area, and also in front of the shirt, which is really nice. I like it when they do shading, which is, again, awesome. So, Tien looks amazing, very nice. Will definitely go great in my collection. Again, for that DVC display, gonna it's, I'm already loving him. So, Chiaotsu, same thing. Uh, not a, Pretty much no shading whatsoever for this guy, but in terms of size accuracy, this 40-year-old man right here is looking good. So, articulation. So, these guys are kind of weird in terms of both of them. So, I kind of want to start off with Chiaotsu. So, Chiaotsu... He does have a double ball peg, so he can look down about that far. Look about, uh, look up about that far, side to side, sw uh, swivel up and, uh, back and forth. Well, all that kind of stuff. So he does have ball pegs for the arm, so you can rotate them 160 uh, degrees. About that far in terms of the T pose, you can definitely get a lot better if you wanted to. And of course. Uh, singular hinge uh, elbows and little tiny wrist pegs the legs he can kick forward about that far and kick backwards about that far which is awesome and then the knees are double jointed actually which is surprising very nicely done in my opinion and of course the feet are on ball pegs as well and he can do I think he can do the splits if not he can get about that far which is all right in my opinion. So Chiaotzu for a tiny figure, he does do good articulation. I do think that uh, Tamashi and Bandai know how to do these tiny figures much better. So maybe in the future we might get another one, but they came out three years ago at this point. So, and there's been no mention of a re-release whatsoever. So I wouldn't even think about them doing them, uh, giving them a re-release. But this guy right here, TN, he can look uh, uh, look down about that far, look about look up about that far, uh, swivel side to side, and of course rock back uh, left and right, all that kind of stuff. For the torso, we do have a pretty nice ab crunch and a pretty decent, it's all right, back crunch. Uh, for the arms, he can do the T pose pretty well, very nice. And of course, we do have a bicep swivel, which works amazing. Double jointed elbow, which looks okay. It doesn't look the greatest, but it works. And of course, a ball hinge. Oh, uh, his head is also on a ball hinge as well, which sucks, but it, it's all right. Uh, he also does swivel side to side for the torso and rock side to side as well. So yeah. Um, for the legs, they do work pretty decently. So he can kick forward about that far, a little bit better than 90 degrees, which is good, and kick backwards about this far. Whoop, <laughs> he 
<laughs> that could happen too. He can also do pretty decent splits, but not the greatest. Uh, you could probably get better range if you tried, but I don't want to break him, especially since he is quite hard to find nowadays. So, yeah. Let me see, can I change? No, it's whatever. Uh, I thought I the green is kind of dulled down a little bit on video, but he is much brighter in person. Uh, the colors are much brighter in person, actually. So, something I have to figure out how to fix. Uh, probably just the saturation stuff. But yeah, it looks good nonetheless. Uh, knees. I just popped that so you can see he has ball pegs for the feet, which seem to work well, and a toe hinge, which is all right looking. It kind of it's pretty ugly actually, and of course the information here, a little bit of a paint paint scrap right here. The knees, uh, he does have a do double jointed knee, which looks kind of weird and very ugly, uh, but it's it, it's all right. It does its job, uh, but yeah. No, uh, it does have a thigh swivel, which is uh, amazing. So yeah, overall, I do think these guys do work well in tandem with each other. So already a great package nonetheless, especially for two figures. Now, in terms of size, like uh, comparisons, I do have the other two bald man of the Z Warriors in Piccolo and Krillin. And this is how he stands compared to everyone. Uh, pretty accurate in my opinion. Tien is on the bigger side, so might be a little bit more in tandem with Goku, which is fine. Uh, Piccolo is definitely the tallest out of all of them. And of course, Krillin is taller than Chiaotzu, but not as small as him. But yeah, that's how he compares to those. But now, let's go take a look at the accessories, because these guys, or mostly specifically Tien, does have a nice amount of accessories. So let's look at those real quick. All right, so here we have the accessories for Tien and Chiaotzu, surprisingly. I actually had not noticed that Chiaotzu came with a couple of extra hands for himself. Uh, but in terms of Tien's accessories, we do have three different head sculpts, as you can see. We have a shouting head sculpt, which looks really nice. I love the amount of detail that it has here. He also has some veins popping out of the head, which is awesome. We do have sort of a grunting, angry face for Tien as well, which looks amazing, very beautiful ball head, and a sort of like shocked, worried expression, probably from when Xiao Tzu uh, sacrifices himself against Nappa with a little sort of sweat drop on there, which is very nice. Uh, for his hands, he actually does have the Dodon the Dodon Ray hand, which is very nice. Also could work as an instrument transmission hand if you wanted to. Two fighting stance hands, which is really, really nice. Very, uh, they could also work as grasping hands if you wanted to. And two extended hands, which you can use to use the solar flare. Very nice nonetheless. Very well sculpted as always. And of course we have the tri-beam hands, which are two separate hands. But as you can see, the hands themselves, or the right hand itself, does have like sections for these little nubs that are on the le the right hand to sort of attach to the hands and form a nice cohesive tri-beam. Or, so to, uh, sorry, uh, Kikoho. I don't like saying tri-beam, it, it sounds weird. And then for Chiaotzu, we have two extended hands for uh, his little telekinesis and two Dodon Ray hands or pointing hands if you wanted to see those. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Overall, for both of these guys, going into my final thoughts, I think they're great, honestly. Uh, definitely a great addition to my own collection and I'm definitely excited to put them on my shelf to be with the whole entire Z, uh, Z Warrior gang. Now I'm only missing um, the caped piccolo in Yamcha from the Cell Saga, which I did not pre-order and came out this year, which sucks. But they're going to be a great addition to my collection nonetheless. In terms of giving this uh, these figures a score value, I think an 8 out of 10 
is more than sufficient for both these together. It is technically a two pack where both of the figures are posable. Uh, the first release of this Tien or Tien himself was with a fixed Chiaotzu where he sacrifices himself. So this is definitely the best option to go with if you were to look up uh, or if you were like looking for a Tien and Chiaotzu pack. So get the newer one, don't get the old one. Uh, but overall, great figures. Uh, some limitations on the posability here and there, uh, probably because they're like they were sealed and it's been a while since they came out so some of those joints need to be flexed to actually work so probably just on my end and i know again a three-year-old figure hopefully they uh, get a re-release or a reissue sometime in the near future because one of these characters that are, were one of the main characters or antagonist in dragon ball itself being locked by high premium bandai it sucks but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about these two figures. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.